Everybody, to the final episode of Infamous Instruments. This is episode five on the electric guitar. This is the one that I've been waiting for. This is going to be the most fun one. And at the end of this, I do have a surprise for you. So make sure you guys stay tuned. So throughout today's video, you're going to notice a few things. One of them is going to be this microphone right here. That's a new thing I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do everything through my interface this time since I'm on the electric guitar and it's tough to pick it up acoustically. And the second thing is you're just going to see random guitars missing from here. This is because I will be playing them. So every guitar that I decide to play today, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what it is and kind of what it does. So to start out, this one is actually not mine. This is the only one that I am going to play today that isn't mine. This is a 1994 Stratocaster, and I believe it is a, it is a player series. And it sounds just phenomenal. It's one of my buddies, Isaiah's, and he's just left it with me, let me use it for a little bit. And it just sounds great with the uh, single coils in it. And it's, oh man, it's a beautiful color. Sounds awesome, super twangy, great guitar. So the first song I'm going to play for you guys is called Sultan's of Swing. And it is by the Dire Straits. And it is a great song, so I'm going to play a backing track for it. And then I will just do the solo over it and kind of show some of the highlights of the solo. That right there is what I would call one of the greatest solos of all time. Just absolutely wonderful. Just the way the way he uses the guitar to make just those twangy, just you know, just sounds so good. So the guitar I'm holding now is a Gibson Les Paul, and it was actually made for the Indonesian market, and somehow it ended up over here. And this is a beautiful guitar. It's got a nice sunburst matte finish it's just absolutely beautiful humbuckers sounds great so let's give it a try here so this next one unfortunately i cannot play the whole thing because this video probably will get taken down if i do but you all know it so i'm gonna try my best to make it as recognizable as i can but we'll see how that goes <laughs> Next one I'm going to be doing is an ACDC song titled Hell's Bells and everyone should recognize this song so we'll give it a listen here. <laughs> Hell's Bells by ACDC, if you do not know. Absolutely wonderful song. Angus Young kills it on the lead guitar, as always. One of the best guitar players of all time. And now we're going to move on to some guitar history. 
So the invention of the electric guitar is a little bit up for debate because you have people like Charlie Christian, which is a jazz musician, or was a jazz musician, and he took an acoustic guitar and he decided that he wanted to play solos over the rest of the band, but his guitar wasn't loud enough. So what he did is he invented a pickup that he put in his acoustic guitar to make it sound louder. That way, when he would solo over the band, he would be louder than the rest of the band, like a solo should be. So he would be the lead guitar. And another guy by the name of Adolf Rickenbacker, around the late 1800s, in the early 1900s, invented a guitar that had to be plugged in, such as this one, which is what we know as the electric guitar today. So this one, this one required you to plug it in no matter what. So you couldn't, it couldn't be heard, it would be like this. But when it's plugged in, it sounds a lot different. When it was plugged in, it could sound like this. Or this. Or this. Or this. Or even this. So you can see there were plenty advantages to having a guitar that could do this. It could run from a cable out into different outputs and come to an amplifier which was filled with tubes and speakers that would amplify the sound. So then you had guys in the late 50s and early 60s like Leo Fender and Les Paul who were inventing guitars how they wanted to invent them. Leo Fender started making guitars around the 1950s and now he owns one, or he doesn't own, he's dead, and he sold the company, but he has one of the biggest guitar companies in the world, Fender Guitars. That's what this one is right here. So he started up, and he made a couple guitars. He made the Stratocaster, the Telecaster, and a few more. And then he later sold to CBS. And guitars that were originally made by Leo Fender today are worth thousands of dollars, anywhere upwards of ten to twenty thousand dollars. It is unbelievable. Then you had guys like Les Paul who saw guitars in their own image and he has his signature guitar right here, the Gibson Les Paul, that is one of the most popular guitars in the world. Slash plays one, there's hundreds of other people who play them. So for a lot of you, you probably are wondering what is up with all of these guitars that I have? Why? What's wrong with having one? Well, they all sound slightly different based on the woods they are made of, the pickups that are in them, the size and the shape of them, and everything in between. So this one right here is a Gibson Les Paul, and Gibson Les Pauls tend to have a pretty warm sound because they have what's called humbucker pickups in them. So humbuckers are dual action pickups, and they pick up the vibrating sound, and they run it electronically, through the bottom here, and that runs into an amplifier. So my main point in this is that all guitars are used for different things. For example, this guitar, I use it a lot at shows because it sounds good on a lot of different things. It's warm, and it's not very twangy, so it sounds good clean, and it sounds good dirty. Now this guitar, this Telecaster, I'm sorry, the Stratocaster, sounds very good for clean things and country things and blues things because it's very twangy it has a lot of just like oomph to it it's really bright it sounds great on country kind of stuff so then you have guitars that are called hollow body guitars you can hear if i knock on this the inside of it is hollow and it's almost like a mix between an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar but it still is electric you can hear if i play it it's a little louder, but it's not as loud as an acoustic, and it still acts like an electric. These have very clean tones, and these are a lot of times used for jazz. So then bring to my final guitar, because this one up here is just another Les Paul, which is the same as this one. So this one right here is an Ibanez, and this one is a solid body, and it is super heavy. It has humbucker pickups, just like the Les Paul. Really the only difference are the electronical switches down here, which are a little different than the 
Gibson because on here I can change each individual pickup inside of it where in that one I can only use them as a dual function so if I want to switch from my bottom one to my top one I can't have the bottom or the top of the bottom with the top of the top I have to just have one or the other or both Definitely hear how that one's got that country twang in there with the uh, Stratocaster. So I'm gonna show one more absolutely great solo on it and then that will wrap up the video. And by the way, if this video can get 500 views, I will continue to do this throughout the summer and that then I won't need to follow any of the school's guidelines so then we can do some other stuff as well. So make sure you like this video and comment that you want to see more and I will continue to do more if it gets 500 views so make sure we can get 500 views on this share it with your friends and do everything you can if you want to see some more alright so unfortunately I cannot say the name of this one out loud however I will put a title for it right here but this one is a great song and the solo is one of my favorite solos of all time the first solo I'm going to do in the song and it's just so, it sounds so major, and it's just great. Take a listen. suppose I should probably reveal the prize I promised every or I'm sorry the surprise that I promised everybody at the end of today's video so what I actually did is I took all the instruments that we went through in the infamous instruments episodes and I made a song featuring all of those instruments some of the instruments featured in the song are not in the infamous instruments videos such as the drums and the piano but everything else should be so I hope you guys enjoy the song it's not super long there's no words but I hope you guys enjoy it anyway so video ends I would like to thank everybody for this wonderful ride it was a ton of fun making these videos 
and I hope you guys enjoyed watching them as much as I enjoyed making them. And again, if this gets 500 likes, I'm sorry, 500 views, my bad, I will continue to make these because they are pretty fun to make. So once again, I want to give a big thank you to Jordan High School and Mr. Ryberg for doing this. And I want to thank the viewers for watching. So with that, you have watched Infamous Instruments. Peace out.